tell this to me. Chapter 14, let's go! Oh my god, chapter 14. Oh yeah, you're gonna love this one. Tensky Park, the site of the little lady Camellia's abduction tonight, and the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. Yeah. Oh my god, what is Tensky. Luigi doing there? <laughs> I wonder why our little lady detective is looking so dejected. Well, at least she isn't dead. But what did she find? It's probably another dead body. No, she's probably dead, but she's not telling us. Wow. There's no doubt about it. Alright, so we gotta wait for our man's Luigi over here. Oh yeah. Huh? What's he doing here? La la la, let me spend a moment's time with you, my love. The world will not end if the food delivery is a little late. La la. A little late, it's already ice cold. Damn. No one likes cold chicken. Cold chicken is disgusting. It really is. Like, even with gravy or like extra stuff, or, like, ugh, man, just, no. <laughs> Don't eat. Chicken gold kids. There we Stone. go. Come on. Got him. Uh, calm down, sir. Alright, so swinging this. Uh. Look at you. No. Darn. No, what are you doing? I'm trying to make Use the no Progress. Spin progress. That. That, that's how you make progress. Darn it. I was trying to Good job. Wow. Uh, yeah. Alright. Seesaw. Yeah, seesaw first. Seesawing. Okay, so little lady detective. Oh, there you are, Sissel. Why are you playing why are they playing your theme and it's like a, just go. Don't even question it. Whatever. From your dejected expression I gather, you didn't find what we're looking for. Alright, I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead. Something horrible. It's a dead body. It's probably a dead body. So it's like... Yeah. There, in the grass. You'd better see for yourself. Wow. I totally... That's totally not that guy that we met chapters ago. Like, like in chapter 3. Like 80 chapters ago. I know, right? It looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw. Don't, don't even, even joke. Like that. Don't even joke about <laughs> Please that. Please don't. What if she really did die? Oh my god. How would you prevent that death? You can't. <laughs> but I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? What you gotta do that stuff like Jesus taking his sight away or something? Like, just like, go. Like how are we taking away Lynn's sight if that happens? But never mind, I suppose not. Okay, so we can't leave him like that. So. Man. Great! Oh my god! Stop the park from being turned into a house it's like protect the park, the rock of the gods. You there! You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in. Oh my I got god. That good shit. Oh my god. And drugs. He's dealing drugs. The <laughs> dealing leaflets. Drugs. Oh my gosh, he's dealing drugs. I urge you to pursue it thoroughly and peruse. examine it in detail. Just to prove he that said I peruse. Have urge you to peruse it. But Purpose. never mind that right now. I don't want any of your weed. <sighs> my name. My name. Hmm. I don't know. What does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? You know what? I'm just gonna call you Randy. <laughs> really? Randy? Randy the okay. drug dealer. His name Randy? Okay. It, everything goes back to that reference. Just don't. <laughs> the magic school bus. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's bad enough we've already made like 80 references no one's gonna understand but us. Like, just don't. <laughs> like, come on, it's study these tracks with my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. 
Did, did, you, did anyone else notice he has the Illuminati triangle on his hand? <laughs> he's not even like that, but okay, I'm sure, but no, then again, you never he's know. He's a weed dealer, and he's always talking about this rock of the gods. It's probably Satan rock, it's probably a Satan rock. Tonight is no longer young, as a matter of fact, Daybreak is approaching, but we are still young. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I don't have any time to get involved in your way of life, but I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back four minutes before your death. My <laughs> god. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this death. Uh, You're gonna love it so much. I saw him <sighs> get crushed by the rock, so that's why I was gonna die. What the, like, look at look at the way he dances. It's just. It's bye, too, bye, it's bye. I've made up my mind. I've resolved to live here in the park and defend it and sell drugs in the process. Okay, but, and what does that have to do with this rock of the gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand. It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet in great detail. You, you have to wrap it up and uh, uh, put some of these leaves in it. Yeah. And then you'll understand. I'll throw in a free light or two. Excuse me, but uh, I have to go now. Where's a dang window in this restroom? Hell, clearly my dancing is not amusing you in any way, shape, or form. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh uh, yeah. This is how she was kidnapped. Florida. Where's your Pegasus? Ugh, wow. Oh my God. I've located the target beauty. A girl of the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. But it's still it's the totally wrong girl. It's still the wrong girl. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, my dear. Ever so gently never and come right back to your side. <laughs> Stranger danger. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? Stranger danger? Uh... Stranger danger? What the hell? Why I knew I shouldn't have gone on Dead End Drive. Alright, I should have just taken my chances on Suicide Lane. Dang, Lynn. Oh, God, zero oh, I do. What should I do? I have to do something. Now what to do? Lord! What to do? Ding! You're gonna love this. Oh my god, what the? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? It was Jesus. N that, uh, Satan just intervened in there. <laughs> so you wanted to go on suicide lane, eh? I understand how you feel, Camellia. But what in the world? What just happened? <laughs> oh, that's me now. Mino. Mino, the mascot. Symbol of Tempsky Park. Hey, that sounds plot relevant. Yeah, I know, right? Totally. You know, forget about the name of the creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Did you see that? I don't know. I might have been too high to notice. Oh wait, actually I did. Yes, I did. We witnessed it with our eyes. The power of the wrath of the gods. Or at least I think. I don't know. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. Yeah, she, she's working with but, Satan. I don't know, I can't tell if that's the weed talking or not. She's working um, with Satan. So that's, that's at the end of it. And then that same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Yes, yes, precisely. That's called the mischief of the gods. No, no weed dealers in the park. <laughs> what did she say? Mischief of the gods. Was it a ghost trip? Hint, hint. Nah, it couldn't have been a ghost trip. No other ghost could change the direction of something that heavy. Holy eye pieces. <laughs> but wait a minute. What if there was somebody with greater powers than me? Yeah, right. I wonder. Who is this mysterious person? So let's see 
Because I totally don't know him. Oh no, who is that? Who is that? Look at that, there's another flame besides mine. Ooh, is that, a, is that the flame of a god, is it? You know, it sounds like the flame of a Pomeradian we already know. Yeah, yeah, we know, you already guessed it, uh, but hold on. Your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? No, we're not a god. Oh, um, pardon me, but... Are you a god? No! <laughs> oh, praise Sissel. I, I am Sissel. <laughs> Hear me! But, whatever. Who's this flame? I definitely believe it's either a god or something god. No! <laughs> no! Maybe I better try talking to this Pomeradian. Okay, so... Let's go over there so and talk to... I can't believe you guessed that. My missile, my missile. What the... This person with much greater powers than me? It's... it's... A dog! Hey! The Sissel! Oh my god. It's Missile! <laughs> you gotta scream every time he shows up. I know. You look well for being dead again. How did you die? Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it. I really. I tried really hard and I did it. I saved Miss Camellia! Telling me I was done in by a puppy dog. God damn it. Missile, what's going on? How'd you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked. Thirty years ago after I hit my head against this wall. <laughs> after you left. I tried to change my own. You know, fate. eighty chapters ago. <laughs> eighty years later. <laughs> I worked all like crazy to make my own path and I did it. Don't tell me that's how you died. years later, the door finally opened, but I had to go back in time <laughs> to, to, deck, to come back to the present. And then I oh. followed Miss Camellia out into the big, wide world. Hey, there you are. This death is so messed up. And then here at this park, I found her. Yes, you guessed it. I barked. You bet I did. And I went running after her too. And yep, I'm just driving along. That's and screwed. I'm gonna run you over, and I'm not even gonna move. That's screwed up. I <laughs> know, it's so fucked up. Ugh. And then I guess I died. And then I was unconscious. Oh, no, no, no. And when it came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camellia got crushed under that big, scary rock. Rock. Oh, oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. The Miss Camellia! I had to rescue her. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart. And then... I got ghost Bam powers! Happened. Oh, hey, look, look! I wonder what that emanating from the ground is. Is that... Is that radiation? Ugh, I freaking hate you. Quit guessing everything. Stop what, it! Whatever! You just, you're just hating. And then I remember what you did for me, how you saved me. So? You went back, right? Four minutes before the little lady's death. Yeah, you bet I did! He has the green powers. The green. It's too good. Yeah, we don't we don't care about this. You really using this up. Yeah. Now's my chance, I thought. I saw the core. Oh no, it looks pretty far. He has that Vanessa range. Like, I'm serious. I stretched, I stretched really out does. my paw towards the core. Well, uh, I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel. Go and try it for yourself. Halo tutorial. He's Jesus got that Christ! Range. 
<laughs> How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. And so you then manipulated that Mino, that thing, and threw it aside. Right on top of my head. Shut up, you. Well, no. I can't manipulate things like you. Well, I saw that leaf, so we obviously switched it. <laughs> I didn't know what to do, then I happened to see something right out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, the core too. Well, so since you screamed at me there, it's obvious that he can switch yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah, it's better have a face our size and shape. Yes. Whatever, let Missile explain it. You wouldn't let him explain it the first time, it's kind of pointless now. What in the world? I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape. Yep. Go ahead, try it. Touch the swap button. Yeah. That magically just button. appeared. I swap button. I swap button. That's incredible. And so that's how you saved your mistress, isn't it? And that's how I became caught up in this, isn't it? I'm very sorry. My powers were too meager. Meager. Because you see, I saw one more. I happened to notice one more core. There was something with the exact same shape stuck in the branches of a tree. Hey, you're right. If Mino could be swapped with that... The disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head. Too true, too true. What is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than Mino. So why don't you swap them? Cause I can't reach it! <laughs> but this was just too far for me, I couldn't reach. Ow. Dang. I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of a death if I do say so myself. That's probably the drug stalking though. We kept retrying over and over. But I bet there's something you can do now because the Sissel Man is here. Huh? The Sissel Man. <laughs> the Sissel, you think so? Sissel Man. <laughs> Sissel Man. <laughs> do you think you could help me? The Sissel Man. Of course. Can I be the Missile Man? Naturally. Can I be the Drug Dealer Man? Oh wait, I already am. Who <laughs> asked you? <laughs> Accomplished. So we're going to drop that Mino thing in a different spot. Okay, so let's try it. Let's go four minutes before your death. Yeah, I so... I will say this right now. You need to... They'll tell you you can play as Missile, but you need to set up some stuff first as um, Sissel first before you should actually play as Missile, or else you're just going to end up wasting time. Right, so I don't so. need all this banter right here. And did he just make his own button? Yeah, I told you, it spreads. The Jow disease. <laughs> the Jow disease. <laughs> the Jow disease. Hi, Sissel icon. What do you think you even have your own icon now? Select? Icon. The Sissel Man icon. The Sissel Man icon, yes. <laughs> you got the Missile Man icon, the Sissel Man icon. Alright, Missile. Your power's a key this time. Yeah. I can swap shit. Yeah. Missile Man. Right, so. Might as well do what I can now with this Vanessa. No! Oh, wait. wait, wait. No! Yeah, I you're. I told you, you, you play. You need to go back. He plays. Uh, Sissel first. You gotta set up some stuff. Alright, so... So use that! There you go. Leave... that tire there, okay. Yeah. There you go. There he is. Yeah. So, what you need to do here... You basically need to wait until he jumps onto that. Right. Because that's your only way. Um, 
Whoa. Here you come already. I swore to myself not to repeat my mistakes. Wow. But somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Otherwise, definitely regret it, even if you're high. And now the recklessness of youth has taken over giving me lightning fast speed. Wow. If we can stop this man from running, maybe he won't get squished. It will be easy to stop me once the reckless re re whatever. Me being high has taken over because it gets crazy. Right. So would you hurry up and get on there? I almost broke my neck the last time. Oh, I did not mean to do that. What are you doing? Okay, yeah. To give yourself more time, you need to spin that globe. Or else he's gonna end up... Yeah, there we go. He'll be fine, I'm sure. He might break, like, a few, um, bones, but... on his neck, but, um... Yeah, he'll be fine, I'm sure. Yeah, I doubt that. Well, what, as long as we don't... It doesn't kill him, we won't have to worry about that. I would open that. I would open that umbrella. Right. Uh, Ella. A. Uh, under by a umbrella. Ella. Ella. A. 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 Yeah, I would open that while you're Sissel now. So now you can play as Missile. Right. Because what you need to do, obviously, if you haven't figured it out already, um... Well, actually... Probably switching that baseball and that wheel thing, maybe. Yeah, but the tire, you don't don't mess with the tire or else you're gonna mess the whole thing up because the tire is the last thing you need to you need to switch. And if you put it anywhere else, it's gonna be out of reach and you're not gonna leave the tire there. Right. Um, actually, wait. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Switch that. You have to wait. Oh yeah, I remember now. Don't you? You have to wait until he jumps because when he hits that seesaw, the ball's gonna go flying in the air and it needs to get caught in the umbrella, and that's when you switch it. So just right. wait. Just, just just wait and see what happens. Hard recklessness of you. There we go. Now we now can switch we switch the tire. I'm trying to switch the Lord. I'm trying to switch the tire! Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Skirt. Okay. Yeah, we moved the ball. What do you think, now Missile? it's just a question of waiting for plot to kick in so you can actually reach Mino. Oh. Yeah. In a few seconds, you'll swap Mino with the lead. And then, from here, you can swap Mino one more time. The final moment is near, Missile. Are you ready? You bet! One of the quickest chapters ever. Woo! With, 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 with my help, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, whatever. You know, don't even deny. I've whatever. been having to help you at least once every part. Yeah. So far in this. Do, 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 Yeah. Because plot <laughs> takes over, like you said. See, he's gonna stop the brick. Brick? He's gonna switch it. Stop the Mino. He's gonna stop the Mino. Okay, watch me, Sissel. Here I go. Missile Man. Missile Man. No. Wow, I can't reach the Mino. No, because. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, good god. He Ow. crushed it! Right in the kisser! <laughs> it crushed that can. There, how's that? My head has been spared. Truly, that was a try for the other gods. Wow. And now Mino is right where he belongs. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Jesus, Missile, we did. Now nobody has to die. Except for one brave little somebody. Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? I guess you're right, I'm still dead, aren't I? So, let's go save your life. No! What is it? 
I want to stay dead and assist you. Because I'm going to help Shut you. Up. I'm going to help you in the rest of the game. Shut up. I see. Perfectly understandable. Shut up. Even I wish I had powers like that. But you'd be no help to me because you'd be too high. You don't know that. Hey, we just saved you, man. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course, you're right. You got more drugs to deal. True. I, I, I saw I saw money. your stash over there in the chicken box. I, I need that cash money, like really. I saw your stash over there in the chicken box by Luigi. You oh, two partners. You saw that. Well, moving on. Uh, don't okay. tell anyone about that. All right, Missile, have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless, you. There's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back then, to the present! To the present... Well then... Hopefully Lynn's not dead, I doubt it though. Jesus Christ, that would be so mad. <laughs> she actually did die for another reason. She had a stroke. <laughs> And so Camellia ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry, I wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she was, she's alright, after all. I mean, she, she, she had Missile, who used his Satan powers to switch that rock. Just go! Are you in there? Is I know my own dog's voice. <laughs> Miss Lynn, leave Miss Camellia to me. I didn't know you. <laughs> Such a. I didn't know a Pomeranian like you could have such a deep ass voice. <laughs> I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I could help her. Hell. <laughs> okay. No, missile away. Missile away into the uh, winds. Oh, I guess it completely froze for me because <laughs> it kind of just stopped. <laughs> because you're saying missile away. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't. Yeah, it froze. Oh my god. It completely froze at the le Miss Lynn, leave Miss Camellia to me. It completely froze there. Okay. So, so I literally, like, what's even going on right now? I can't see. Now you're going to have to be Lynn. Or you can just. I don't know. Let me stop this for a second. Flew away while he was still on that dialogue, and I'm like, um, wait, I think it froze. Uh, no. Oh. Okay. okay, then. It kind of looks like Missile is being left up to the wind. Oh, never mind, it froze again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it froze again. <laughs> Time to fix Skype. I have something to give you. What's that? Something very important. DRUGS! Stop the fart from being carried to a housing site. Protect the park for Rock of the Gods. Really? Only five ninety nine. Really? Probably more. Really? But depending on You're selling her money. drugs? Oh wait, I'm sorry, pardon me, pardon me. You know Lynn's a detective, right? <laughs> Don't arrest me. <laughs> My apologies, this is for you. Just forget that last thing. Just, just, just ignore that. Oh, okay. I should arrest you, but... I should arrest you, but, you know, uh, whatever. You're giving me something that may save my detective friend's life. So that was just like your get-out-of-jail-free card right there. Oh, let In the it form slide. Of you kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. Oh, let it slide. I let it slide today. Not at all, I was only dealing with the Rock of the Gods. I think the drugs are wearing off. Would have wanted... I think I'm gonna need another fix soon. It's, it's starting to wear off. Oh good. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> He's mesmerized my Shut up. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> no. Up. Hey, the cat's not allowed to get your tongue. Technically, you don't have one. You're a ghost. Exactly. 
Excuse me, but are you? No, it couldn't be. Uh, it sounds... Just go. That sounds foreboding. Before you say anything, have we met before? Aren't you... Aren't you that little girl from that time? You know, that time that we've already, like, talked about? Didn't we already... Didn't they already bring this up? Earlier? Yeah, about a little girl being held up in a shootout at the park. Just go. <laughs> I'll never forget it. It was ten years ago in this park. Ten years ago. Yep. Are you talking about that, that one time? That fateful time. That one time, though. So we probably gotta talk to drug talk dealer to guy over here. Drug dealer. Here in this park, the gods surely control fate. Today, ten years from that day, we meet once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? It could be just a coincidence. But apparently you know our lady detective here. Could you tell us about what happened to go ten years ago? Yes, yes, of course. I was actually about to do just that. I want to hear about the Rock of the Gods first. Is this piece of rock you keep talking about? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. The Mino. No, but Mino will be important later. Of course. We'll have plot relevance. Oh, missile stole there. Yep. <laughs> His body. Hey, Lynn. How would you shoot yourself and get some ghost powers? Mm. <laughs> missile. <laughs> Wait a minute. You s you say G O D S, but do you mean D O G S? No. Of course not. Don't be silly. There's no time for ridiculous word games. Yes, the drugs have definitely wore off. You're standing just above the Rock of the Gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Monument? monument. No Looks way. like a giant... It says nothing new there. Rock of the Gods. Tamsky Park. The Rock of the Gods. The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been there these ten years. Ever since that day, it flew down from the heavens sh and showed us a miracle. A miracle? <laughs> Come on, Lynn. Somebody shoot so, her. this rock you've been talking about... ...is a meteorite. No! Precisely. It shot from the sky on that day ten years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about... Me? No. No. That day, I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down and through the gloom... I saw the darkness? And drugs. And drugs? I heard the scream of a little girl. And I didn't call the cops. Well, I was too high for that, so, I mean... Just calm down oh, and drop oh, that weapon. weapon. Oh, no. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Yep, she got held up. Hey, look, it's Jowd. By a mysterious figure. It's Jowd. I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. What is that coat he's wearing? Oh, my Jowd God. Jowd in his pimp coat. He has the pimp coat. Pimp coat. I didn't, I didn't see, see the face of the criminal, criminal clearly. Nope. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. You couldn't call the cops or something? Tension was so thick, it was painful, just when I couldn't stand any longer. That's, That's when, when it happened. happened. The sky suddenly burned flesh white. And one of oh. those is gonna hit him in the back or something? Shut up! Or, or it's gonna kill the murderer? Shut up! Whoever it is. But it crashed into the ground. Meteor gave off yep. shower of beautiful fragments. There you are. Shut up. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments. Pierced into the criminal's back. There you are, plot predictions. I'll just go. The detective sense is too real. No, it's not. The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Ten years ago, 
the little girl that was you was saved by the Rack of the Gods. Oh my, I can't believe it. Yeah, you look passed out in that cutscene. Right? Like, I, how do I remember any of this? The Rack of the Gods was given the name Pimsky, and still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. Yep. Temski. Temski. I I never knew about this Temski. I always thought Detective Gowd was the one who saved me. Hmm. You were very young then, and you passed out from the shock of being taken yep. hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember that. And how old were you, damn? But that's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange you have never heard of it, Lynn. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news and I never came back to this park ever again. Exactly. She psychologically- That's why I didn't know anything about it. She basically psychologically blocked out everything that had to do with that incident. Or the park in general. Exactly. The meteorite was named Temski after the name of the park that it fell in, obviously. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Can't have that now. Now an awful thing is happening. They're talking about turning the park into a housing site. Can't have that now. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in this park and I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park, the Rock of the Gods, that is my mission. And so drugs. <laughs> I see. The I'm gonna try not to arrest you. Like I'm, I, I would take that as a confession any other day, but today I'm just not feeling it today. So if I remember later, I'll come back. But <laughs> yeah, I, I wow. don't, yeah. You know that that drug thing? It's only it's only a side thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't sound like it. I sell that for a little extra bucks. I'm taking you with me, Missile. Yes, I'm gonna take a, a dog's body with me. So, ten years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteor, right? I get that, but Detective Jowd, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Tempsky thing. And if he knew, and the man died, I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? Sounds like Jow is BSing. But whatever, the Rock of the Gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives. Like the ripples on the pond when a pebble is dropped in. Sissel, being so poetic. <laughs> With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of the mysteries before dawn? Probably. Yeah. Yes. Most likely. Can I answer yes? Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Jowd. Is it over? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I have an idea. We found the music box, Detective Jowd. Good job, Lynn. I knew you would. Uh, yeah, it's time for me to open this since I'm like the only person that can. Once everything has been resolved, I wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanella, right? Yeah. I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Jowd. Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know. <laughs> oh, you mean brute force? Yeah, basically. Yeah, let's just rip it open. Why not? He called that... He calls that a knack. It looks more like brute strength to me. I have to super glue that bitch. Yup. <laughs> you should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? When Camellia built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. Yup. It's, it's the kind of magicians use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Now, how did she get a hold of that? I don't know. Why would little Camellia use something like that? Oh, you're about to find out. I don't know, maybe because she's a detective's daughter? Wow. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that, heh <laughs> heh. You're not laughing. In the case report, there was nothing... 
of mention about scorch marks. It says there was. You can't read. What? It says there was. Oh, right. whatever. <laughs> That's the scorch marks. You're trying to change I, this. I kind of do want this to end. When it happened, Camellia was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. Did it make it an impossible move? It. Oh, shadowy figures. Did it do and something that it shouldn't have? Took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind it on the frame too. And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words, it proves the contraption that existed in that in the room that day. But how did it get hooked up to the gun? And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit modified the design. Now how would they be able to do that? Mm. Did they make this impossible move? But the angle was never brought up in court. And so as <laughs> Justice Minister, I must call off the execution at this point. Yeah! I knew I was right. Right. It was a detective job. Now we can finally prove that. Yeah. And everyone can stop calling me crazy. <clears throat> Thank goodness. Whatever. Thank you, Lynn. Hey, new face. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. Always goes back to that. Oh, gosh. Ignore that man. Please. Thank you. Sissel, if you hadn't come to my cell tonight... You'd be dead. I would be gone by now without ever having known any of this. That's what I deserve. Shut up. That's what I've told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened and I can finally stop trying to want to die for this. Exactly. <laughs> tonight, I've come in contact with people's lives and gotten involved in their fates. And the only reason I was doing it was to gain my own memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. And that's why I need to ask a few more questions to find out the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. Oh my god, what time is it? No! What time is it? Ooh, what time it is. Why? Because. You're wasting time here, damn it. I don't have much time. I have to leave at like four. Well then, we should probably hurry up and do this. Like, That's why I'm damn. asking what time it is. Cecil told me all about it, Detective Jow. About the manipulator. Yes, and it looks like the, like the, this manipulator really did a number on the minister too. Yep. Ah. Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who has to save him. <laughs> Sissel, do you think... Do you think that's what happened to me, too? No, I think you just shot me. No. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> what are you talking about, Lynn? I don't like your face! <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me. You were manipulated, too. I don't like your face, Sissel. <laughs> it was a part of me that just couldn't believe it. That image of the one- oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I see the possibility of a new explanation. No, no Lynn that was did it. Lynn. Lynn shot me. <laughs> but who is it, and why did they do it? Because Lynn doesn't like my face. <laughs> the contraption was a birthday surprise for Camelia's mother, wasn't it? Yeah. That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that thing from somewhere. It almost like it killed me once before. Yeah, the, like, the mechanical kind of murder scared. machine. Yeah, the mechanical right, murder. I do it. See, Detective Jowd? No. no, I'm afraid I don't see. I told Jowd all about it. That thing that totally killed Lynn earlier. Told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight in a completely different place. That's a very strange indeed. 
A junkyard on the edge of town. I've never even heard of the place. And what's more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't. That old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Yeah. <laughs> now can we Chemsky. can we hurry up and get this over with? Detective Jowd, you must have heard this name before. Temsky. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago. You were there. Kind of maybe sort of yes. So you found out about that, did you? Yes. I heard that meteorite saved Lil Lynn's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lynn that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true... If it's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jowd, you told me that ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was the meteorite! You lied to me, damn it. <laughs> Feels ashamed. Shamed. I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away, no question about it. It was entirely my fault. Ah, I was just theme. about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. I don't have time to dance to the song. At that point, <laughs> I was already a murderer. Uh, That's not true. I can't dance to the song. You were trying to save me. Lynn, I'm sorry, but... I, I don't think that's really it, so stop. <laughs> huh? Uh, Treats about ten years ago. I can't dance to his theme. Just go. On that day ten years ago, a different instant an instant happened in another place. Another place. Yes, in the police headquarters interrogation room. The worst sort of incident, a suspect who was being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. Yeah, because you're kind of a rookie detective. You're like eight, you're like, I don't even know. How I happened to be there in the detective detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Wow. Hold oh, it right there. I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him bad. That warning shot made him panic. Yep. So I grabbed you. Mm. At that time, I was a young and green detective brandish brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic, and I got you involved, Lynn. It was all my fault. Except mm. it wasn't, but okay. You bet it was. Shut up. Detective Jow, uh, all I, all I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lynn. No, I'm not. I'm really not, but... Come on, hurry up, chapter. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last ten years. I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was my fate, my punishment for what I've done. <laughs> yeah, Mom. I will return. Ah. I painted pictures in my cell, nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the many people I've met in my life I didn't want to forget. And tonight, I finished my last portrait, the final face I wanted to remember. Cecil. Like you don't know already. He saw it chapters ago. God, that lag, I can notice it. The final face. The face of the man in the park that day. Wait just a minute. That can't be. I saw the painting. The face you painted tonight. It's me. No way. No way. <laughs> so the man in the park was Sissel. And you're telling me I was the man in the park that time? That's right. That face of yours is the face I saw ten years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole. The man who's pronounced dead at the scene. But, but hold on, Detective Gerald. That can't be true. I met Cecil for the first time tonight. What the hell? 
and he died right in front of me. By the way, that is the name I know the man in the park that day. Is it Sissel? Yep. From the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering, who in the world is this guy? Like, seriously. Because we're not Sissel. We are like, that's Sissel. It. I'm just going to say it. This is a retake. There we go. What? There we go. Shut up. There we go. Who, what? This is not that a retake. Obvious. Yeah, it is. This is the first shot ever. No, it's not. Inspector Cabanella. Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. Oh heck no! Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Capardella? And you know it wasn't my da daughter who was abducted. Doesn't really matter who the hostage is, a life is a life. Even if it's the daughter of a death row inmate prisoner. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately, and wait for our call. Michael Jackson out. <laughs> Michael Jackson out. What is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the world? What's going on, Inspector Caffanella? The rocket of gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a tragic chain of tragic events. Yeah, there weren't two tragics, whatever. Mm. And even now, the chain continues to grow ever longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved that to us. And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? I'm even further from knowing than when I started. Is it done now? Yeah. There we go. Yes, I had to say it. This is a recheck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna bleep it. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> You're gonna bleep it? Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. No, no. Who is the editor that. here? I'm the editor. I'm bleeping out your voice. I'm bleeping it's out this damn whole thing. Retake. No, it's obvious. No. <laughs> Put it in the comment section then. <laughs> no. <laughs> all getting bleeped that. out. It's getting all bleeped out. No. You're terrible. Just go. Just go. Okay, upload the rest of the damn videos. God damn it. Calm down. <laughs> Just go. Wow. It was funny the first time. It was funny this time. I mean, it kind of was in a way, but I still like their first take better. I'm not gonna lie. Because your reaction to all of this, cause this is the chapter right before everything big starts happening. I know. You, in your reaction, though, the first time, it's not as cool anymore. <coughs> but, we, but we still have the others. Just go. Whatever.